Hurricane Milton has barreled into Florida with historic fury, unleashing powerful winds and catastrophic flooding while producing an already deadly storm surge. It could be the most powerful hurricane to hit the Tampa Bay area in more than a century. Tonight, more than 2 million people are without power as Milton's storm surge threatens destruction in the dark with roads underwater as it continues to rise. We have live team coverage of Hurricane Milton. Meteorologist Vera Jimenez is tracking the storm, but we begin with John Finolio in the KTLA News Center with the latest on the danger and destruction tonight. John. Sure, and Micah, Milton is now a Category 2 storm, but it is still packing a powerful punch as it turns across Central Florida. At this hour, the storm is walloping the Orlando area. Earlier tonight, Milton spawned tornadoes. It is still producing relentless rain and wind. For those still in the storm's path, tonight they face the threat of rapidly rising water and widespread destruction in the dark. Hurricane Milton slamming ashore Florida's Gulf Coast as a powerful Category 3 storm, making landfall in Siesta Key near Sarasota with 120 mile per hour winds, torrential rain, and dangerous storm surges. More than five inches of rain in three hours recorded in St. Petersburg. And there goes Tropicana Field roof. The wind shredding a portion of the roof at Tropicana Field. The stadium home to the Tampa Bay Rays is where thousands of emergency responders are staging as the storm churns across the state. But as Milton approached an eerie phenomenon. So this is Tampa Bay. Look at this. All the water has run out of the bay. The storm strong winds pushing the water out of Tampa Bay as Milton's eye passed just south, an event sometimes referred to as a negative storm surge. Now the water is rising, a flash flood emergency in effect for greater Tampa. Drone footage capturing massive 20 foot waves inside the hurricane in the Gulf as it marched towards land. Peak storm surge is predicted to be between 5 and 13 feet depending on where you are on the Gulf Coast of Florida. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis urging residents who refuse to evacuate to seek higher ground and stay inside. Stay inside and stay off the roads. Floodwaters and rushing storm surge are very dangerous. There's already been 116 tornado warnings with 19 confirmed touchdowns throughout the state, nine flash flood warnings and four additional flood watches with many, many more to come. Multiple fatalities from tornadoes have been reported in St. Lucie County. The death toll still unknown. Millions without power. For now, the full scope of Milton's wrath remains unclear until daybreak. We've already approved emergency declarations for Florida. We have thousands of federal personnel on the ground. So the people of Florida and all the impacted states, we've got your back. We've got your back. And Kamala and I will be there for as long as it takes to rescue, recover, and rebuild. Of course, Milton is the second major hurricane to hit the region in less than two weeks. The damage to communities still reeling from Hurricane Helene is expected to be severe. President Biden says he has already directed Secretary of State Lloyd Austin to preposition search and rescue teams, helicopters, and high water vehicles to conduct life saving missions once the storm has passed. We'll have another update at 11. Back to you. All right, John, thank you to meteorologists.